everyone. Welcome to Busy Lizzie's Budget. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. And if you've never been here before and this is your first video, I just wanted to say welcome to you. I'm so glad you're here. I try to do a huge variety of content. So I hope that if you like my content, you'll content, you'll consider subscribing and become part of our YouTube family. People here are the best. And a little bit about me, I realize I haven't done this in a while, but my name is Lizzie. I am 41 years old, I believe. I always forget my age. I have a, I have two teenagers. I have a daughter who will be turning 14 this summer, and I have a son who will be turning 17 in October. We have a busy Matt who edits our videos and um, usually puts some funny comments in while he's editing. And um, we just have a lot of fun here. So today is really exciting. So I'm going to be stuffing my YouTube check from, let's see, this is May. So this would be from April. And yes, I put in probably 50 to 60 hours a week into YouTube altogether with all the aspects. But this is from you guys watching, you guys watching my ads, things like that. So I wouldn't be where I am today without all of you. So huge thanks to all of you. I'm so grateful to have you all here. And um, we, oh, we also have a dog ranger who I'm sure you've seen in some of the um, thumbnails, but we have a dog who's very sick, but it's hanging on. So um and my son has a cockatiel bird named Wiggles. So sometime I'll put a picture in here of Wiggles. I'll see if I can do it today, but if not, I'll try to do it soon. So anyway, if you're a YouTuber and you're saying, wait, how did you get your check already? I haven't gotten mine. Well, I'm so glad you asked because I have not received my check yet for last month. However, I had scheduled to do this Christmas stuffing video today. It just made the most sense because again, I really try to vary my content so it doesn't get boring and no two videos in a row are alike. So I just decided that for this month, when I plan the whole month out, that today would be a good day to do my Christmas binder. So I can see in AdSense that I will be getting a check for $278. So I just went ahead and borrowed that from my buffer and so then when I get the check, I'll just pay my buffer back. So we already have the money right there. I have my beautiful new purple tray, metallic tray from Celine at Funds and Fun. She is always linked in the description box. And I have my last new pen that I had ordered from Erica from Black and Blue. And her YouTube channel and her website are always in my description box. And then I have my sweet sloth pocket rock from my friend Ange at Ange Budget and Debt. So let's get going. Enough of the chit chat for those of you who don't like it. So we have been rolling a die, a 12 sided die because I have 12 categories in my Christmas binder. So let me put this aside. I have two scratch offs that are eight and a half by 11 left to finish. So they're sitting there, but this is my binder I made. And basically we just roll, oh, I just noticed we had an IOU. I'm glad I saw that. So basically we roll in whatever number it is, that's what we stuff. So since I just noticed the IOU, let's go ahead and take care of that. Let's, um, let me take, see if I have a 10. So glad I noticed. Okay, so I'm going, no, not a 10. You guys are like, we're gonna put in a 10. Thank you, okay. And we're gonna take out a one. So that will be the $9. And this beautiful sticky IOU note is from I just wanted to, I just wanted to double check. I knew it, but I always second guess myself. This is for my my friend Nita at or Nita at the always organized nope the almost organized owl and her shop on YouTube. Her shop on Etsy is Owl Save Wisely. Sorry about that. That will also be linked in my description box. So we have one category fully funded and that's all. So let's see what we can get done today with this it was $278 minus nine. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to roll and see what number we get. And I, I forgot, the other thing I normally do is when I start this video is I take, in case, if I was planning to just stuff each category, I would take the number, divide it by, take the number I'm stuffing, divided by the number of categories. So we're down to 11. 
So that means I want to stuff around $25 each time. So I'm going to aim to scratch about 25 and then move on to my next roll. So let's get moving. So I hope everyone had a good week. We made it to Friday. Yay, that's always exciting. Let me know if you have any plans for the weekend or if you have to work. Hopefully we have some nice weather and some of you get to do some fun things. So we started off with a nine. So nine is Mystery Savings by Star Budgets. So let's go right to that one. And again, we're gonna scratch off around $25. And I did forget my scratching tool, but I know exactly where it is. So here it is. This is for my friend, Lisa. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And someday I'm hoping to upgrade to a blingy one from Erica's shop. But for now, we're gonna use this. And let's see, so there are three in this challenge and it looks like the larger numbers are on this top one. So let's go ahead and start here. So let's go ahead and scratch. I'm not gonna fast forward, I'm just gonna scratch. And um, so we have 10, so we can keep going. So let's do this one. Okay, so 10 plus 10 is 20. Should I do one more? Um, let's do one more on one of these. So 10 and 10 is 20. Let's do this one. So 22. So we'll go ahead and we'll stop there at 22. Let's see if I can wipe that off nicely. Okay. So we owe $22 to this envelope. So we'll go ahead and put that in. And I think this time I'm not going to count because I might come back to the same ones and it will be annoying to keep counting. So I think this time I won't count and we'll try to give you guys a shorter video. So add that in there. And I feel like I'm, I can't remember from my video when I did my financial goals update, but I feel like we're about halfway done with this binder. So I'm happy about that. So let's go ahead and roll again. And we rolled an eight. So that's happy hollies. That's hands and bands. So that should be right in front of this. Yes. Okay. So remember, we're trying not to go past 25. Let's do this one right here. Okay. So we got an eight. I love this tool. It just makes me want to keep scratching. Okay. So let's go ahead and scratch another one on this. Okay. So let's do, let's do this one right here. Okay, so eight plus 12 is 20. So I owe this challenge 20. Since these are still in the book, I'm just trying to keep it nice. I think I'm gonna use a Kleenex today. So we owe 20. Should we do the last one and finish it up? I don't know, you guys. I wish I knew the total of this. I did at one point. Um, let's wait and see if we get there again because I wanted to support as many people as I can. So let's stop at 20 and we'll put a 20 in hands and bands. Remember, all of these people will be linked in my description box with their YouTube channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and roll again. And we got a one, which is already fully funded. So I'm gonna roll again, 11. Okay, so we're gonna go to the end and that is this one from the Andy Fiore collection. So there we go. So let's see what we can do here. Um, okay, that one was a 25. Oh, okay. So after getting tricked by, I think it was Cat and Moon, I'm trying to pay more attention. So that Grinch hand was a 25. I bet this Grinch hand is a 25. So I think I'm gonna... Should we do it, guys? Guys, let's do it because we have 25 allotted for this. Let's get it over with. Oh, it was only 15. Oh, that was a nice Grinch hand. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll scratch another one. Let's just work on this. Let's finish this row right here. No, okay, that got me. Okay. <laughs> you guys, I love and hate scratch offs at the same time. It's like, panic inducing or anxiety induce, inducing sometimes, but it's also so much fun. So we owe this one 35. So we'll definitely be done with that one. So let me put the money in. Let me know how you guys are doing on your Christmas savings. I know I have not been able to watch hardly anyone on YouTube lately with Ranger being sick and needing to be take care of him all the time. And I was trying to spend as much time as I could with him because we thought it was the end. And it still could be the end. It probably is the end, but 
he is still going strong, acting like it's not. So anyway, I will save more information for a Ranger update video, but let's go ahead and just slip this in here and let's go ahead and roll. Okay, so this one is a nine. So that is star budgets again. So let's go back to that one. Let's keep going on this top one. So, oh, two, okay, cool. So two, maybe we can finish it. And five is seven. And then 11. Okay, so we have 11. What else do we have? Let's do this one. Okay, 21. So I think I'm gonna stop there with 21. And we'll keep using our larger bills. We'll do the 20 and the one. Forgot to get my fully funded slips out in case we need them. They're from Katie Reynolds at Reynolds Budgets. And I'm gonna try to remember to link everything I say in the description box, just so you guys can easily find anything you're looking for. So, okay, so time to roll 12. So 12 is Snowmen by the Phillips Sisters. They are so sweet. And we are gonna finish this one. Okay, so um, hold on right hold on right one moment. <laughs> hold right on a moment. I can't even talk. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. I found some fully funded slips since we're going to need them. And oh, you guys probably can't see them. They're in the cash tray. Okay. So we're going to finish this one today, you guys. So let's see what that top map top amount is. Okay. I don't normally film in the morning. I'm just going to tell you guys, but I need to go somewhere today. And so I wanted to make sure my filming got done first. So I am not a morning filmer. I basically woke up, had coffee while I did voice messages back and forth with Madeline, and now I'm filming. So um, that's the excuse I'm gonna use for not being able to put words together. So we'll go with that one. So $15, so we'll do 10 and a five, and then we're done with this one. So let's count it up and make sure it has what it's supposed to, or see how much it has. So, Let's see. And I think we're just leaving the money in here for now. And let me double check though, because I know we finished number one in here. And yep, the money's still in there. Okay. So this one, I should have written on the back what they were supposed to be, but let's see. We have 25, 30, 40, um, let's see, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 90, so 100. So this should be 100. So let's see if it is. So we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. Okay, so because this is finished, I'm gonna go ahead and condense it in case we need to make, so this way we won't have to make change later, hopefully. So I'm gonna just take all the 20s. So let's see, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So let's do that, I'm trying to think ahead here. So I'm gonna put the 20s in here and we're gonna put one of these beautiful slips from Katie Reynolds in here that say fully funded. So excited we get to start using these again. And now I did get my marker out and, Okay, it's under those challenges. So I'm gonna go ahead and cross off number 12, Snowmen, the Phillips Sisters. So we have now finished two. So if we roll that, we will roll again. So let's, let's keep rolling. Okay, so we got nine. Oh, we got star budgets again. Okay, this challenge is gonna get a lot of money today. Okay. So this one's done on top. So let's, this one seems to have bigger numbers. So let's keep working on this one. I feel like this might be a bigger number. Let's go here. Okay, it's not too bad. So we have five and then just have to put a little elbow into it. Five and one is six. Okay. All right, so now we have 16. We'll keep going because we can go up to 25. So 16 and then plus three is 19. All right, let's do one more. 
Oh gosh, 29. Okay. All right. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. So all money's all going to the same place anyway. So all right, let me wipe that off. Okay, so what did I did I say 29? I'm pretty sure I did. All right, if I didn't say 29, I know y'all will tell me. So let's put in 30 and we'll take out a one. So take a one out from the back and Put the 20 in front and let's see if we can just find where the 10 goes. Perfect, we'll sh shove that in there. All right, so time to roll again. We still have money, so we're gonna still roll. Okay, that went off camera, sorry, um, or off screen. Um, so we got a five, so that is Snowy Savings with the Thrifty Sewist. This is Wendy's challenge, so we have two this one is for more let's finish this one um where did the scratcher go oh it's hiding behind the pen okay let's finish this one and then we'll just have her smaller one to work on 30 oh no wendy oh i'm not used to her having high numbers but i should have known because it said 150 so these two challenges wendy gifted to me a long time ago that was my first contact with her and boy am i happy i met her okay so let's Clean up the mess so it doesn't go all through this book. I am so glad that I decided to, sorry guys. Um, I'm so glad I decided to just use these rings because it's getting so thick and now I don't have to worry about doing condensing. So let's do 30. So 10, oops, I grabbed three. So $30 we're gonna put into this one. We'll sneak it in here if we can. I will do a bill condensing at some time at some point though, so we can put prop money in to get more money into the bank. Um, but for now, I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay, so let's roll again. See if we can roll in frame. Okay, four, naughty or nice by cat and moon. So right here. Okay, so if you guys remember last time, this was hilarious. You should have seen Matt laughing when he was editing, which made me laugh too. And it was just so much fun when I got the 225. So we finished this one. And so we just have this one to work on. So I'm going to say this one's going to be a smaller number because it's between there. But I want a larger number because it's my first scratch. So let's go for this one. Who knows? Let's just do it. Oh, okay, you guys, I actually like it when they come off clean. <laughs> Every once in a while, uh, one will do that. And I'm like, oh, it looks so pretty. Okay, so 18. So let's do 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. And we will stop here on this one and we'll roll again. This one has a, is pretty thick with money, so it'd be easier to take it out to put the money in, okay? This is going to be so fun to count at the end, but you guys, I don't consider myself creative at all whatsoever, but, and I'm very, like, I can't draw, I can't even draw stick figures, but I, I guess I'm a little bit artistic. I just love doing things with stickers and things I can't mess up that will look nice, but I love this binder so much, obviously, because it has sloths all over it, but anyway, okay, so let's, I'm going to be sad when the binder's done, but you guys, I have... So many new things coming up. You have no idea. Um, aside from my 80s and 90s binders that I keep talking about, I have another surprise, something we're going to be doing probably, probably before we finish this, but I'm just so excited. Okay, so we got a three. It did change, but we got a three, which is Gentle Charms. So this is Heather. She has an amazing shop and she has a YouTube channel. So I believe it is Let's see, number three, I named it Christmas tree. Okay, so this is one of our eight and a half by 11s I was talking about. So I'm gonna move, I want you to be able to see how beautiful it is. So I'm gonna move my book and we are going to, these can be anywhere from five to 40. So we do need to get some bigger numbers done, but let's kind of hope it's not 40, okay. So, and if you are kind of newer to my channel, I just wanted to let you know if you didn't, in case you didn't know this, I figured out how much money I needed to save for Christmas or wanted to save for Christmas. And it was around like 
I don't know, 2,700, something like that. And I do plan to have leftover money, but I wanted to have plenty because I usually finish my shopping way ahead. And then when Christmas season gets closer, then I want to go crazy and buy extra gifts for people because, you know, I just, I'm a giver. So anyway, um, while I'm talking, I'm just doing some extra scratching to make some of these other ones look nicer. But anyway, um, Yep, and now I'm going to forget what I scratched because I'm not paying attention and I'm talking, but um, I believe I just scratched this 10. Okay, so let me stop messing around. Let me clean off this beautiful challenge. So, and let me get out a 10 before I forget. So basically, um, I found all of the scratch-offs I wanted to do, and they all equal to the amount I wanted to save for Christmas. So, that is pretty cool. So... That's what I did. So once all this whole binder is done, I should have the exact amount I wanted to have for Christmas. So, all right. We're not going to scratch again because we gave it 10. And if I get a 40, I'm going to be upset. So <laughs> let's, um, let's roll. Okay. Can you guys, oh, you can see that. Okay, cool. So that's a four. So that's naughty and nice again. So back to here. So there we go. All right, so we have three left on this, but I don't think we can finish it because they seem to be big numbers. But let's just go ahead and scratch this one right here. Oh, and I see I got a 25. Okay. So let's 10, 25. So we don't have much money left. So we only have a couple rolls left just to warn you guys, <laughs> just so you know. But this has been so much fun. I know I only do this video once a month. It just has worked out that I've been doing it with my YouTube pay, which has been so nice, you guys, because I don't know if I started it with my YouTube pay, but it's like my YouTube checks have been covering Christmas, which is really cool. So, all right, so let's roll again. 10, winter fun, hold my money. Okay, cool, so we got a different one. Okay, so that's in the back. So I think it's this one. Yes, hold my money. Now she doesn't have a YouTube channel, just an Etsy shop, but um, let's just do this one. We'll get this column, not row. We'll get this column done. I had a feeling it was gonna be 25. I had a feeling it was gonna be a pattern. Okay, so, oh, I love it when they're laminated because it's so, Oh, it's just so nice to scratch, especially with this scratching tool. Okay, my ratty Kleenex back. Okay, I also have my beautiful vacuum from J Janelle, Mama T. Let's see, Kleenex doesn't pick up anything. I think it's time for a little desk vacuum. And then after this video, I will wash my desk. I haven't done that in a bit. So that will help get some of the stuff off. Okay. So 25. So let's see the envelope. All right. So 10, 15, 20, and we'll do one, two, three, four, five. So we might end up with an IOU, but we'll see. So wait a second. All right. There are the ones and then 10, and then fives. Okay, so let's count how much money we have left. And then what do you think? I wish you guys could tell me. I wish I could do like a live poll and say, should I have an IOU or should I um, find some small ones where I might luck out? So we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We have $19. Okay, let's roll. Let's go ahead. We'll leave it to the die since that's what we're supposed to do. So we got an 11. Okay, so back back to the back. <laughs> okay, so this one gave me a big number last time. How do I keep losing my scratcher, you guys? What is going on? <laughs> no more morning filming for me. <laughs> okay, so we have, I forget what I just said, how much we have left. It doesn't even matter. Um, I'm going to hope this is a pattern as well, and this is a five. Let's just do this, and it's easy to clean off because it's on the edge. Oh, it's only one. Awesome. Let's go above it. Okay, so six. All right, so 
Let's do five and then six, just so I don't have to keep mathing. We'll just stay caught up. And then I guess we have to keep going on this one. I guess that's the name of the game. So let's go right here. Okay, so we got a five. You guys know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna land on a big one for my last scratch. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have $8 left, okay. So what are we gonna do? I feel like this might be a five. Let's do this. No! <laughs> this always works out this way, I swear. Okay, so we owe this one 15 and let me just double check that this was eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we got a 15. That means we owe this one seven. And I'm gonna use a different one. Okay, this is another one of Nita's challenges. I don't know if they're both in her shop. I believe they are, but we're gonna use this one this time because I love that one as well. So we owe seven. So I'm thinking because I almost didn't see that last time, I kind of feel like I should leave this on the cover to be honest. Oh no, because then I won't remember which challenge it is. Okay, whatever. We'll just, we will just put it up here. And yes, this is the envelope for it. So we'll go ahead and add the money. And just for kicks, we'll count how much money is in this one because I haven't really counted any money this video and I do it in this video and I enjoy doing that. So trying to think, I usually tell you guys what we do this week, what we do on the weekend. Um, I don't know what we're doing Saturday. We'll probably get my video done and ready for Monday and stuff like that. But I know Sunday we're going to go to church. My dad's a pastor and we're going to go to um, go to church with my family and then we're going to go to my parents' house and celebrate one of my nephew's birthdays. So that'll be so much fun. We didn't get to see the family on Mother's Day because we thought it was Ranger's last day with us, but, and we couldn't leave him alone, but we're going to figure it out. We're either going to have Kendra watch Ranger or we're going to try to bring him with us, but we're going to be able to give my mom her Mother's Day gifts and just see the whole family. So it'll be super special. So we have 1, 120, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 200, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it must have been 207. So that's cool. I didn't realize how much we're in some of these envelopes. So that's awesome. Okay, you guys, so that is going to be it for this video. And let me try to pull out, you know what? I don't know which ones I've used for a thumbnail and which ones I haven't. So I'm not gonna worry about trying to find a thumbnail right now, but um, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will catch up to your comments eventually. I know we're gonna be gone Sunday and Saturday. I'm not even supposed to be doing YouTube and I'm gonna have to film a video. So I don't know how it'll all work out, but I'll definitely at least read all your comments. Um, and I just hope that you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Um, I guess that's it, <laughs> bye.